yes. Amen. amen. And it says, and I said, amen, amen, because it's settled. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Um, every time I, I begin to think about different things that has happened in my life, and any time you have any trial, I'm going to tell y'all this story, all right? Some of y'all have probably already heard it. But I wanted to give it to you again, amen, because there are promises on your life when you know who you are, you begin to walk in that thing. So I'm going to tell y'all my story. Say, Lady Chris, don't tell us a story. Lady Chris, don't tell us a story. So when I was in high school, now I'm taking it back, y'all, I wanted to be a majorette, all right? Everybody say, I want to be a majorette. And I wanted to be a majorette because my mom was a majorette, my sister was a majorette, and I felt like because of the bloodline, hear me in the spirit, that I was going to be a majorette too, right? So if I did everything that I knew how to do, I was going to be a majorette because like I said, my mom was a majorette, my sister was the captain of the majorettes, and I felt like, okay, I'm going to do that too, right? Because I knew who I was. It was in my bloodline, right? Right. So I, I, I decided, well, one thing you had to do when you were a majorette, you had, back then you twirl batons, they don't do that no more. But anyway, you twirl batons, and then you also had to do a routine for, for when we tried out. So I said, oh, I'm going to do mines a little bit differently because I know I'm good. So the way I started mines, I kind of twirl my, uh, my, my, uh, my dance, rather. I twirl a baton, and then I would put it down, and I was just going to break out. I was going to break out. Well, needless to say, the people didn't know that I had changed the way that I was going to do it. So they came and they took my baton from me, and I totally forgot the whole routine. I started doing some ice, ice baby, some MC ham. I just started creating stuff. <laughs> oh, my God, I was just trying to wing it. I was trying to do it on my own. God had already told me what to do, and I allowed somebody to come and take what was mine. Come on, hear me in the spirit. It did not operate in what I knew to do. Amen. We, we, can't, we can't allow that to happen, y'all. So only two people did not make the squad. Me and somebody else. <laughs> and I'm talking about I cried. I cried because I knew I was good. I knew I was supposed to be a major act because my mom and my sister was one. And I got a shut door. And as I walked out, if y'all know anything about Crim High School, it's a long road to the bus stop. So I walked to the bus stop, and I'm crying, and I'm weeping, and I'm, how did I not make this? I am supposed to be a majorette. But if you want a majorette, now, see, I didn't let that stop me. See, sometimes we get closed doors, we get a no, and we just, we just give up. But that's not what God put inside of me, Amen. So if you if you didn't want if you couldn't be a majorette, I was gonna be a pom pom girl. I'll sell it be a pom pom girl. I'm the best pom pom girl there is, right? So um, I, I began to go to the pom pom girl practice because you just was automatic, really. You just could automatically be one if you didn't make it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So I went over there, and, but I worked hard. I worked hard at being a pom pom girl. I was gonna be the best pom pom girl because I wanted to be in the band. I was I was gonna be the best pom pom girl, amen. But then my sponsor, which was the one that told me no, she noticed me. She noticed me still walking in what God called me to walk in. She noticed that I was still trying my best, and she said to me, "Do you still want to be?" I'll show 
show y'all what we hey, did. Come on, baby. Strive, strive. But I started in the back and I still worked hard because I knew that God said that I was going to be a majorette. Some of us, even though you might start in the back, you will work your way up. So she began to notice me again and she moved me to the next row. I said, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on now. And then I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and then I got bold enough to say, I want to be a captain. Uh-oh. What? Now we have some good captains now. Don't get it twisted. All of us were real good. But I still knew the promise that I had on my life. My sister was a captain. It's in my bloodline. And I'm going to be one too. Uh-oh. Amen. So I tried out for the, to be captain. And you know what? I made it. Uh-oh. I made it. So you can't tell me what God cannot do. When you know the promises that are on your life in the natural, but what about?